Research is about discovering new ideas and using innovation to drive and create change. Big change starts small. And at Charles Darwin University, we're creating global impact from one of the world's most remote locations. Manufacturing technology developed by Speed3D at CDU can print 3D metal parts anywhere, from extreme heat to sub-zero environments and on the front lines in Ukraine. We can actually send files to any part of Northern Territory and defeat the issue of supply chain. This needle is spinning fibres 10 to 100 times thinner than a spider silk. These nanofibres can be used to make protective clothes, purify air and water, and create hydrogen energy. When we make nanofibers, it can be deployed in remote regions where it will be helpful for remote communities without polluting the environment. As the world switches to renewables, CDU is collaborating with industry to develop affordable, reliable and eco-friendly power systems. We produce hydrogen for the first time in the Northern Territory and our microgrid can test new technologies under any conditions. AI might be taking over the world, but CDU is here to ensure it helps, not hinders humanity. Our researchers have trained AI to diagnose lung diseases, fight cybercrime and forecast mining disasters. The North Australia Centre for Autonomous Systems is making science fiction a reality. Drones from NACUS deliver life-saving medicine to remote communities, track invasive species and identify environmental hazards. Saltwater crocodiles are the world's largest living reptile, brought back from near total eradication in the Northern Territory. We travel into the most remote locations to learn about how they've evolved and we're advocating to protect our smallest creatures by studying how they've adapted to climate change and human intervention. We strive to keep our marine life safe, whether it be by monitoring megafauna, analysing seagrass or uniting research with industry to increase aquaculture sustainability. So we're doing this by looking at what the commercial fishes are catching through electronic monitoring. It also helps us evolve. Um, without research, we won't be able to progress as a society. We've developed world-leading fire monitoring and management practices by collaborating with First Nations people to combine traditional knowledge with Western technology. Each year, as the seasons change, traditional owners, rangers, landowners, pastoralists and others use these practices and technologies to protect their country now and for future generations. Whether it's uh, Indigenous and non-Indigenous and scientific knowledge systems, it's imperative that we think and listen together in equitable ways to find useful useful solutions to the big challenges that we have. CDU's Molly Watergooger Institute for First Nations Birthrights is a world leader in research and advocacy for birthing on country, striving to improve health outcomes for First Nations people. And as the conditions of the world change, we're working to understand how humanity and our bodies can best adapt. We're using modern technology to protect and preserve some of the world's most sacred sites and breathe digital life into ancient artistic practices. CDU is paving the way for making education more accessible, whether by combining traditional and Western knowledge to inform teaching practices, or developing technology to teach anywhere and everywhere. And I think true innovation comes from having to think in new ways and across cultures create new ways of doing things and I think that's something that we do well in the Northern Territory. It's not about the technology, it's about how that engages people and how that gets people talking together. At Charles Darwin University, big change starts small.